Guys, guys, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. Huh? The new Pokemon game is out. What? It's a radical what? retro review emergency. We gotta play the new Pokemon game. Ah! It's out. Whee! I've Whee! downloaded it on my phone the new Pokemon game. Let's go! Let's go with some news! Let's go! Radical Let's go, Retro Retro Review! Pokemon video! Pokemon! Come on! I got the tripod! Pokemon video! Pokemon! Top of Pokemon, you want to be friend? Okay, we get to pick our starting Pokemon. Oh, a Bulbasaur, please, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Pokemon move toward enemies on their own and attack them. Okay. <laughs> you know that? Wild Pokemon. Is this, so is this all you do in this game? Not, no, I think there's more to it. I think you can catch Pokemon by giving out, giving them food. Hmm, I think we can end our expedition for now. I need to find a place where I can set up a base camp. Try attaching the power stone you got on your expedition to your Pokemon. Okay. You click on the Pokemon. Another menu pops up because it's an iPhone game. Okay, now what do I do? So what I think, I, all, all what I arrows. do not like about iPhone games and iPad games, which you can buy in the Apple Store for just free or for money. Tap, 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 tap. Because you just there's arrows and they tell you where to tap. Yeah, they just tell That's you. That's not a game. They just tell you game. tap here, or tap here, or tap here, or tap here. That's what this is so far. Okay, Tumble Cube Island Expeditions. You can start an island expedition from the dungeon icon. There's so many icons. It seems to me like you're just basically going to do tapping arrows. So right now I'm like, the whole game. first step, okay. Oh really, like, so yeah, you just, this is exploring. This is exploring, I'm just watching my Pokemon run around, he's gonna fight birds. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna fight <laughs> Pidgeys. It's free. The yeah. idea is to get you addicted to all this leveling up and then they sell you, 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 you buy power ups. Money, money, money. Money, <laughs> money, money, money. Well that's how, like, so, so they have this weird business model. So some people, most people hardly spend any money on these games. But there is a significant, well not significant, but a small percentage of the population that will blow an unbelievable amount of money on this game. Like they'll spend thousands of dollars, which Wait, is really strange behavior. For this game? Yeah, it's sort of how casinos work. Like, well, most people go to a casino and they'll they'll lose a couple hundred bucks on a, on a weekend of fun frivolity. Okay, no, you know, they had a good time. They sure they didn't win or whatever, but they enjoyed themselves. But in, um, but some some people will go and they'll blow tens of thousands of dollars of their like savings or more. They'll blow like all of their savings at the casino, and so they're the ones that really bring in the big money. Okay, now there's a meowth. What am I supposed to hit him? What am I supposed to do? How do you control like where you're going? I know. I I'm trying to. I'm just gonna like do pedal dance over and over again. Okay, I got a power stone. There's a heart <laughs> thing there. Once again, we just click. These are, so four mushrooms, one berry, three acorns, and I don't know what that is, three something. I think the graphics are pretty in this game. Blueberries. You think so? Yeah, they're kind of cool. They're cute. They're cute. <laughs> I like them. Okay, we click on this. Just follow all the arrows. It's just not even, it's not even letting me. It's just, obviously, it always just tells you, just click here. No, click here again. No, click here. No, click here. It's like a baby game. I don't even have to read anything. I just click on the arrows, and after like 20 minutes of clicking arrows, and you, without even you don't even have to read anymore. I'm just giving up. It's like you realize this isn't a game and it's not fun. Just this time, here are some PM tickets. See all these like tokens, like all these rewards. It's all about points and tickets and hidden items and finding treasure. It's like a because they they know game. they know that psychologically this like reward process uh this like reward these reward systems get people to come back they get addicted to it to me this is so mindless that this is be less than addictive it, it won't throw it against the wall okay oh yes your dish will be ready after two more expeditions so i bet if you can buy a power up that makes it so that it happens instantly would you like to use your p oh there it is pm tickets to finish it now sure so they're gonna sell pm tickets uh, congratulations you befriended a new pokemon keep on befriending more pokemon oh my god Okay, so we have three Pokemon. I guess we can have three Pokemon on our team. Don't forget to start making a new dish, or we could just buy PM tickets. So let's go on Expedition. We'll click on Expedition again. Finally, we get to just lots of Pokemon. Just go the whole way. Team. 
Oh, really? Okay, yeah. It's like we have no choice but to do this, so okay. I guess we could have done level one again. Expedition start. I can choose their, their different attacks. There's a Caterpie. They're just attacking, so it's on auto. We just watch the show. I got to do one attack. This is an iPhone game, I and mean, it's about clicking and, and getting um, power-ups. This is this is more in common with Candy Crush than it does an RPG. All right, we won. We won. We didn't do anything, but we won. Oh, we got four mushrooms, two blueberries, one acorn, and one. I don't know. That's one of those power stones, right? And I don't know what that is. They probably explained it to us. Oh, it's a sturdy stone. If you'd like, you connect to the shop to get more. Oh, there we go. Let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop. Just to insert credit card. As a yeah. service for members, you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, no. So we can get 50 Thanks. tickets every day. They give you free. This is they're giving you your your, your fix. Play like, this oh, game. we we get one. Our next, we can get 50 more in 22 hours. 21. I'm sorry. 21 hours and 59 minutes. That's mm -hmm. weird. I don't think I'll be awake then. <laughs> That's it for the basics of expeditions. Oh my god. So get out there and find the loot that awaits you at Tumblekey Island. You received 100 tickets as a gift. All right, can we go on expedition? Yeah. Yeah, can we? <laughs> yeah. What do we do if we lose though? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on auto. There's really no point to not doing that. I'm just gonna it's watch. Hard to, what do I, the it's, problem with this game is when I look at the screen, what so, do I pay attention to? Yeah, I pay attention to these icons at the bottom. I'm not watching the Pokemon move. Okay, so the Pokemon are moving. I wanna watch their attack. So I noticed that Pidgey does gust and it looks like a gust. And then, so the, some of the attacks are pretty cool. So that gust is cool. It took out a tree again. Oh my Oh, God. here's the boss fight. But we're like, there's no way we can lose. Look, like last time, it's like this game is basically unbeatable. You just make sure your numbers match, and then you just push auto, and then you watch your Pokemon win. Does this game ever end? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they're going to try and make it, like, open-ended, so, in a sense, to keep, to keep people purchasing PM tickets. Because if you beat the game, well... Then people aren't gonna spend money on it. That, oh, I see this was pointless. Okay, it's over now. It's I not a game. A this isn't a game. This is a an app. What the hell is that pot doing? It's a it's the pot we use to cook. It's we cook ingredients and then when we, it's finished, it creates some sort of stew, and then it'll attract new Pokemon that we can add to our team. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with this game. You guys done with this game? Yeah. Alright, so what's your final verdict, guys? What do you Pokemon guys think Quest. of Pokemon Quest? Well, I think that... So first of all, the graphics are cute, but one of the problems, what I'm going with your opinion also, it's like, I don't know what to pay attention to, because the screen's so overcrowded, I guess. Uh -huh. Like, colors and all Yeah, it is, it is cluttered. It's like, look at all the stuff on the screen, like the menu, you have this auto button. Each Pokemon has its own these like different attacks you can choose i mean that's fairly simple but then you have to watch the action on the screen which is in real time at the same time it's and not like an rpg the, in a in a turn-based rpg the, you're allowed to think about your, your 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 turns here it's like you're not even able to control the characters as they move on the screen i mean that solves a lot of mechanical problems because people hate those touch screen controls on iphones that's probably why they chose to do this this game is like a baby game. That's it is a like. baby game, it's true. So do you think I, I don't even really think this qualifies as a video game. Yeah. To me, this is just... Uh, that's why I describe it as like a... It's a show! This is like something you do on the in the bathroom. If you don't... If you're if, if reading an article is too, too challenging for you. Uh-huh. Or like... <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, you know, you read something. Yeah, I like to read. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Either, what do you know. What do you think, not Abe? Not gonna mention it for your sake. Abe, what is your final? So, what is your final score for this game, Claire? My score for this game is two stars. Two stars. Okay. What do you think, Abe? Give me. Tell us about the game. Okay. I think it's I think it's cool that you can cook things and talk animals with your cooking skills and um and the story trees and walks with the attacks, but but I don't like that. Like the auto button doesn't mean anything. The auto button it just. Yeah, it just only means that you can choose to attack. Yeah. yeah. Mark, think good thinking you. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's yeah. like, there's no, it's kind of pointless to even give you the choice. You exactly. can just take out everything, everything out of this, of uh, every button out of this game and then just make it like a soul. It's going to be yeah, better off is, as a soul this would than be a, a better, video game. I would rather like just watch this as a YouTube video. Yeah. Content. 
All right. Um, so and what you is your guys what, what is your final score? How many stars? Um, We're just easily gonna two. destroy eradicate two stars. Yeah, I guess I would give this two stars too. It's not garbage. Yeah. It's but it's it's not a game. It's like just it's it's pretty boring. So do we recommend that people download this off the iPhone store? No. no. I strongly recommend you don't waste your time with this game. If this counts as a Nintendo iOS release, it's the most disappointing one so far. I, I thought Mario Run, a lot of people I know didn't like it, but I really like that game. I do too. And I like the Animal Crossing a lot. I'll say this, Pokemon Go, our family had way more fun with Pokemon Go than this game. <laughs> Alright, well that's the end of our review, so uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.